Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new tutorial. So I recently got asked by a friend of mine, hi Noah, um, how you go about moving your save file so you don't lose any of your saves in The Sims 4. So uh, as far as I'm aware, there's no other way to really do it. Like if you're upgrading your operating system or switching from one computer to the other, chances are it's probably going to get wiped. Um, now. I can't speak for every situation when you upgrade your operating system, but with my computer specifically, I went from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and Windows 7 would not upgrade normally. So basically I had to wipe my entire computer and then reinstall Windows with a fresh start. Um, so uh, as far as I'm aware with that whole situation, you can't really save it unless you put it on an external drive. Like I'm going to show you how I back up my saves. So. First thing you want to do is you need to find your Sims 4 folder. Now my computer is going to look a little bit different because I do have my Sims installed on a different hard drive. Um, but normally it's going to look like this. You're going to go to this PC, Documents, Electronic Arts, and then the Sims 4 is the folder that you want, okay? It's this entire folder that you're going to want to save. At least that's what I do. So I'm going to open up my version of it. So I have to go into my D drive and then go into Electronic Arts and The Sims 4. So see, here's all of my stuff, including all of my error codes and all that fun stuff, all of my mods, which you don't wanna see, there's too many of them. Um, and your save file is right here. So if you're ever worried that you're gonna lose your save file, you won't. So what I do is I just take this entire thing and I either click copy or I drag it into my external drive. So this is my external drive. I just plugged it in. If we go back here, you can see it right here. So I'm in my D drive with Electronic Arts and I would just take this and drag this over here. Now it's gonna try to do this. It's probably gonna screw up my computer because it's a, it's a very large file and that's something I tend to do and just leave it because my file is huge with all my mods and everything, but it's as simple as that. So you get it all in here, you're good to go. When you, you know, you have a fresh computer, you have a new OS or what have you, you have, Again, as far as I know, you have to install The Sims again via Origin or Steam or wherever you have The Sims downloaded from. So then say you download everything, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna go back into this file path because the game is automatically going to generate these folders for you. You're gonna go over here. So if I was here and I see Electronic Arts, I'm gonna double click on it. I'm going to click this and delete this entire folder. And then I'm going to go into my backup my external drive that I plugged in that I've already backed everything up to that has all my saves and all that fun stuff. And I'm going to drag it over into here. That way it completely replaces the generated one by EA and replaces it with your save file. So you still have all of your mods, you still have all of your saves, your gallery items, everything like that. It's as simple as that. It sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but it's actually very easy to do. Um, but yeah, so I hope this helps. If anyone has any questions, y you know where to find me. Just ask. I will be more than happy to help. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!